Hi YouTube, this is Tara and welcome back to my channel. So this is my ter third time starting over. I'm using my e.l.f. putty eye primer um, just to clean up and highlight up under my brow. So I've already done it actually. And like I said, I just... It's kind of hard to work with for me. If you if you new at makeup and so forth and so on, it's kind of hard to work with because you is you trying to get used to the texture of it. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make my lid at least all one shade. So that my um, eyeshadow can, you know, look decent. So I'm in Georgia, and y'all know we one of the ones holding up the election. Still, um, still no president. Um, I've heard so many theories. I've heard so many theories. That's this uh, man named Marcus. Uh, Rogers on Facebook and he said God told him that Trump was going to be president the first time and it was true and then he said God told him Trump was going to win again this year and um, as long as Trump is in office um, that's giving America a chance and time to repent because um, basically they're saying Democrats are too basically they're saying the Democrats are too lenient basically and that the Democrats will vote for anything and let anything go and they're not Christians because most of the Republicans um, seems to be Christians, you know, seems to be like Bible Christian, biblical Christians. But I don't get how he could treat women or they say he treated women the way that he treated them. And they look at him as a Christian man or his values as Christian, you know, and I'm not speaking against the president, you know, because I could be a Republican, you know. I'm just speaking to the fact of why they say that we are still don't have a president because um, President Trump says that the Democrats are trying to steal the election. Well, I'm going to tell you like this. Whether the Democrats try to steal the election or not, whether I'm Republican or not, the Republicans seemingly stole the election for Bush. You know, there was some crazy stuff to go on in Florida, you know, that we remember, if you remember that. And um, so forth and so on. So, you know, what I say is, let's get back to what's, at, what's important. You know, we are looking as a whole, as the United States of America. We're looking real crazy round about now. Okay, so on my face, I wash, I, I wash my face as normal, but I didn't use my Elemis. Let me say that. But I did use a clean and clear wipe to wipe my face too. And then I put on my Murad moisturizer. I don't have on my Clean Skin Club. Um, and this is the paste in white. And this is the putty and sand. I believe this is sand or clay, this putty. And this one is white. So, um, I guess I'll take my fingers and do this because the application may be a little easier with my fingers. 
but to me, I can place it better with, with a brush, more strategically. You know, with a brush. See, like I just, I just messed it up on this lid. Okay. Now, how do I even this out? I don't know. You know, I go in here with this, get a clean brush, just kind of do that. Okay, and let's get a little bit more. See, now it applies evenly. people do it. People do it. People get away with it. Girl, it's a lot. I'm good, honey. I'm like, yes. So hold on one minute okay I'm back so now we getting ready to go in with our color so we have our putty primer up under our eye brow and on our lid 
Oh, now crease, and then we have our Elf Putty Primer in white on our lid, okay? So, let's get this. This brush is a little dirty. You see the color on it from yesterday? So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in and just do this, okay, on both eyes. Okay, all right, so I'm going to use Jamila, okay, Jamila, I want to use, I want to use Catsina, I want to use a little bit of Catsina, just a little bit, because we don't have a whole lot of transition color in this palette, we, we don't. Okay, so, yeah, Georgia, Pennsylvania, uh, is it North Carolina? We holding up the, the election <laughs> to find out who's the president, actually. So, I'm in Georgia, and like I said, who I vote for, who you vote for is, you know, that's, that, that's your vote. I'm not asking anybody to put down in the comments who they vote for, whether they Republican, Democrat, independent liberal because some people are neither some people vote their issues some people vote their views you know and if the democrats ain't talking the way they want them to talk then they don't vote for them you know the sad part about it is a candidate can get up and say during the debates this is what I stand for and then once they get in office actually not do what it is they said they was going to do in the first place and especially if they are fought on every hand you know, if they are always, you know, then I'm going to use this brush. I shouldn't use this in my crease, but I am. Now I'm going to go in with um, Jamila. Okay. And Jamila is this, you know, burnt orange color. Yeah, this is a good crease brush. Let's go in with Jamila. I wish Jamila was a little darker. than what she is, <laughs> but I'm just talking to myself. You guys. So, yeah. <sighs> we all know, you know, um, Trump hasn't paid his taxes or he hasn't revealed his taxes. Well, this is one thing I say. I see mm -hmm. some ministers, um, I see some ministers coming out saying that, you know, speaking out against the Democrats. But it's both, you know. 
it's both. They all they're human. They all both sides have their own agenda. Okay? And they want to accomplish their own agenda. But it do seem like sometimes that the Republicans are more for the rich and not the middle class or the poor. But then again, it seems like the, both the Republicans and the Democrats, the Democrats are more concerned to me sometimes about the poor. And the Republicans seem more concerned to me about the rich. It's the middle class that, that sometimes get, you know, get the short end of the stick to me. <laughs> Let's say that. The middle class seems to get the short end of the stick to me. Okay. So the one that I'm going to use on my lid is We're going to go in with this rose gold looking. I was going to do this color cuz this is unique. I haven't did it in a while a color like this. But I did almost a green color yesterday. I do more. Uh, this is like a rose gold. This is like a pinky gold. This is like a rose gold. Rose gold. And this is more of a pink purple type. So we're going to go in with Fula. And we're just going to pack Fula on the lid just like this. She's very pretty. She's very dainty, very girly, um, casual, business casual, after five. Because all you got to do is smoke it out, and she, and, and, she, and she can ride with you to the club, to the restaurants, you know. Boom. Just, mm. I'm just, I'm talking to myself, whispering to myself. Okay, so I'm gonna go in. So that's Frula right there. Nice. Um, I use Jamila. Okay. And I'm going back in. This is a nice, this is a nice crease brush, cause it it is sturdy, it's firm, it's sturdy. I went over a little bit here, and I need to pack. I need to pack. Okay. I need 
easy to pick. Okay. I'm going to end with Chad because Chad is black. And I'm just going to pick up a little bit and just pack it. Just a little bit. Okay. And then just. just a little bit to kind of smoke it out and, and, So I'm about to mess it up, as you see. Uh-oh. Okay, and these are my Morphe brushes. And I love this palette. The only thing is, I like the look. I think it turned out good. I love you for watching to the end. Thanks for watching. So hopefully we'll have a president by monday but it looks like it's going to be announced sometime today on this week all i'm saying you guys is this is nothing to disagree with but if you do that's fine both sides have their flaws democrats and republicans and it's just that the rich want to keep getting rich but when the poor are given opportunities do they really take advantage of those opportunities while their candidate is in office to do better? And if I was rich, I would probably vote for someone who's willing to give me a tax break. Because our current president is rich. And he's tired of being taxed to death. Just because he's rich. And I don't blame him. Because <laughs> I would be too. But if I was poor, ha ha, I got you. You don't know if I'm rich or poor. I would try to be paying. I would want a tax break. You know, I would want a tax break. I would want someone to help me out, to help alleviate any type of financial stress that I may be experiencing. You know, so I understand. I understand. No matter who's in the office, we have a mess on our hands. And somebody gotta be able to fix it. I ain't taking no shot. You can keep that 
COVID shot. I ain't taking it. Now, I'm already taking the flu shot because I work in healthcare. And I don't work directly with patients. So I don't see why you I have to take it. But needless to say, we still don't have a president unless and we'll have one by the time I load this video. Thank you. I love you for watching. Run, Trump. Run. Run, Biden. Run. I support both of you. I couldn't vote for both of you. But I support both of you. Because at some point in time, you had to, you would have to do something or had had to do something to help everyone or try. Whether you was fought in Congress or not. So, whoever runs and wins, can y'all just hurry up and get in there and do something about what's going on in the world today? I love you for watching to the end. This is not going to be a popular video. I'm probably going to get cussed out. Because I never did choose a side in this video. And I won't. <laughs> Bye.